do it. Uh, starting off with something a little light. I mean, unfortunate, but it's light. So there was an accident this last couple of days over in Washington. Um, unfortunately, it resulted in death, resulting from large truck crashes where newly licensed drivers are involved, which is continuing to be an issue. Uh, the percentage of fatal large truck and bus crashes involving newer drivers and new carriers has gone from 4.674% in the last five years as a total result of nearly 500 deaths and $5.5 billion in cost. Got to be safe out here, people. It's it's oh. getting ugly. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They crashed, and how many people got hit? How much was it? So within the last five years, just under 500 people have died from a uh, large truck and bus accidents. Jesus, Joseph. So some of these people weren't even truckers. They're just, they were just around. Yeah, well, a lot of the results have been, you know, based on the data, have been newer, newer carriers, newer drivers, you know, people who have had their CDL for a long time, you know, or maybe somebody which is a common thing, maybe somebody from a, a different country or a different area that didn't necessarily get the proper training, you know, and it's Rookies called, are ruining and trucking. Is what and, yes. And the reason I say this is because looking at the chart data specifically from 2020 forward till now, there's been a 2% increase. So there has been a serious issue oh. with newer drivers and people jumping into the industry that <laughs> don't know what they're doing and mm. didn't get the correct training. And as a result, people are dying. And this doesn't even account for the just the people crashing the truck, period. This is just the people that have died. What about the young bucks that you've noticed is getting them into the situation? What do you think? What do you think? I'm not trying to set you up here. You know, you know what just, it is? <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm going to tell you exactly what it is. It's, it's this thing right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see this? You oh, see, you see oh. this? this device is the reason the majority of y'all don't know what y'all doing out here in the street. It's you a think problem. The, the phone is a problem. Yes, it's the biggest distraction in the world. I mean, I'm I'm part of that too. I, it's 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 always here. I got two of them for crying out loud. Like, I mean, what are we gonna do? Yeah, I got three. Jesus, listen. listen. But I mean, we didn't crash. Why are the young bucks can't play with their <laughs> phone? And, we not crashing though. Listen, they too busy trying to TikTok and get hot in the street than to care about driving a truck down the road. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> listen, it is what it is. Phil says. This is going to be the buzz. You know Phil says that y'all cannot focus on your job. You're too busy on TikTok looking at butt. That's right. It's absolutely a fact. And this is this is this is a, a gender universal. Whatever your, your affiliation is or whatever you identify as, this applies regardless because all y'all do it. Yes, there are a few exceptions and shout out to y'all because y'all are great. But everybody else, the mass majority, y'all too busy paying attention to your phone, trying to get hot, trying to make a social media presence, trying to have in, be an influencer and all this other nonsense. And you should just be going down the road and being great at your job. Here's the question. Mm hmm. Should they have the four? You know, some of the companies have the sensor. It's not a camera, mm -hmm. but it can tell you're touching your phone. You think everybody should have that on the truck now? Yes. Yes. My company has them. And for my own personal experience reasons, there's a, there's a reason that I don't like the cameras because I've been at carriers where they invaded my privacy. So for that aspect, I don't like it. But with who I work for That's now... <laughs> <laughs> That's what that means. Listen, they was in my conversations, and I couldn't appreciate that. Like, mm. oh, we knew you were on the phone. Like, why are you listening to my phone calls? That's that's my problem. But I will say, with the newer systems, like with the carrier that I work for, yes, we have the cameras, but they are AI controlled, meaning they're only recording when you're doing something you ain't got no business. I mean, sometimes it does do some false positives, and thankfully, that goes under manual review, and they'll just pass it off, like. For example, the other day, it the computer thought I um, was in and out of lane, but I was on a country road. So, of course, there's right. hardly any lines there. So, you know, stuff like that happens. But aside from that, it's only going to clock you when it knows you're doing something. You ain't got no business. Right, right. That, that, I mean, I, I did like that because it's like you're not watching me, but the sensor yeah. knows when you're reaching for the phone. Right. I, I personally am not a big phone guy. Once I let it run, yeah. I just let it run and I'm just listening to it. And the thing that I, I will say I appreciate about it is that it can distinguish between when the phone's mounted like it should be versus when it's actually in your hand or if you pick up a call. I've I've gotten flagged for it because I was picking up calls from my supervisor because I left my headphones that day for some reason. So I actually picked up the phone and was talking and driving. So, yeah, I'm guilty of it. And it did 
ding me for that. And they talked about it, but it wasn't a big deal. They weren't sweating me about it because they knew I was actually talking to them. So they were right, like, hey, right. if you can help it, just, you know, pull over and take the call. Because I'm going to have young no bucks out. How are you going to tell me not to be on the phone? You're going to tell me I'd be on the phone, but this dude won't use the call com. He keep texting and calling me. Right. Well, Come at on, that point, at that point, you're going to have to either, like I say, you got to pull over or, you know, get you some earbuds since nobody likes to wear the headsets anymore. And, you know, use your voice command, use Siri or whoever your phone uses and make the call. Other than that, they just going to have to wait and you have to ignore your phone. That's all I can tell you. Like, you just you're just going to have to figure it out. Yeah. I mean, listen. You young bucks, you're ruining trucking. We want you out of here. <laughs> We're just playing. We're just playing. We're just yeah. playing. Y'all of the future, and we love y'all and all that crap we don't mean. Yeah. What's the next article? Philion. Trucker Brown here. I'm just here to remind you that we are on Patreon, and it does help out the channel. Thanks to all the people who sub to the Patreon this weekend. I appreciate you. New content is coming there, and these clips that I'm giving you are from the exclusive Trucker Report Live that I do with Phil, which his link is at the bottom on rumble tv uncut so i appreciate y'all love the support if you like the content man hit the buttons let me know thanks for coming to the patreon